could punch three holes in these gargantuan gazettes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Today we're reacting to a thousand ways to die number four. And here to help me is my wife Jen. Hello, I'm back for more insane injuries and crazy situations. Let's dive right in. We get a lot of losers on this show. <laughs> We've had a lot of losers. I was on that show. <laughs> The only thing Mitch cared about was setting up his new guy pad. Wait a minute. My dad and my mom set up a cool pad for me and my brothers and my sister. We never had like the liquor cabinet. There may have been a party or two at my house where we filled the liquor back up with water. What? <laughs> I mean, your parents Just know. Just kidding, mom. Come on. Mitch was stoked. He found the oh. one piece of furniture that tied the whole awesome. room together. Awesome. It's right up my alley. Seat from an old Soviet fighter jet. Are you serious? Real thing, Until it explodes, come on. Come on. The fighter jet's cool. I've been in a fighter jet. This big metal Soviet chair. I have a feeling it never got deployed, so to speak. Dude, what's that thing there between your legs? Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Of course, <laughs> come on. <gasps> That's gotta be theatrics, because how are you gonna get your head stuck in? Your shoulders are hitting what? The two by fours that are blocking you from going all the way through the roof? Would there be that much blood on like his forehead? Yeah, because he just went through all that debris and just caused a lot of abrasions, lacerations, that sort of thing. Turns out the fighter jet seat was not only authentic, it was hot, as in ready to launch. <laughs> Would old Mitch have died? There's a good chance that this could have possibly happened. I feel like it wouldn't kill you until you get removed. The roofing and the shingles are behaving like its own cervical collar. Maybe, but if it was a quick movement and it severed the spinal cord, you're not able to breathe anymore. And done. For strip club's main attraction. Whoa! Look, she terrific. At Ten pounds a piece. You could punch three holes in these gargantuan gazats. <laughs> 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 What did he say? Gazongas? Something it's, like it's something. <laughs> what do you guys call them? Thousands. Jules' ginormous yeah. jugs were paying off big time. He has just got one line of Jules ginormous jugs. They're not all the same letter, but they all sound the same. Yeah. But after bumping and grinding up on stage, those airbags <laughs> felt like sandbags. Those things are massive. And they do give you back problems Yeah, yeah, sometimes. back problems. You have like spinal cord injuries. You can hurt yourself. So between shows, she'd load up on a vodka. Oh. What? Where's this gonna go? This woman's about to do an inversion table. Inversion table's good, helps lubricate the discs and open up the areas. One of my first acting jobs was selling an inversion Come on. <laughs> Come on. And when her rack what? was just too much for her back, <gasps> oh, she oh, she's gonna knock herself back. out. Oh. I've also seen inversion table injuries. People put their hands in the pivot mechanism and get their fingers caught. And I've seen people rip off their fingers. Tonight, the painkiller vodka blue wow. had done its job a little too well. Okay. She, she suffocated herself. Wow, wow, wow. She went out in a very weird and when is she gonna get checked on? That only probably takes like five minutes. She could have passed out even before that because of the blood rushing to her head or no? You could be upside down for a half hour, 15 minutes probably is all you really wanna do. But then what used to take her customer's breath away uh -huh. What? Come on. Well, because she's a little inebriated, the CO2 is going higher and higher and higher, which makes you more altered and more lethargic and then eventually it's Most people see an abandoned building and think eyesore. But for people into parkour. Parkour! <laughs> I don't know anybody that parkours. I've never seen it in real life. It's good for landing and knowing how to fall because I deal with fall injuries all the time where people fall and go bam versus falling and tumbling. Let's see if you can keep up with me. As they go. scaled the oh. building, the race was tight. Dick was behind, so he pulled out something from Dick's dirty bag of tricks. The problem is when you're doing parkour, you don't want things in your pockets chilling <laughs> around. You gotta know where you're jumping. You have to scout the area before you actually do these things. Shot off the wall like a cannon. Oh! Oh! I can't. Whoa! I was not ready for that. I didn't look. Whoa! Whoa! Now, ego. Oh! No! No! Bye no! Bye. No! This could happen, but how does it actually kill you? Did it cut a hole through there? Maybe. 
but it wouldn't instantly kill you. But that just went through the soft tissue into maybe the airway. You have your thyroid cartilage, your cricothyroid cartilage, your cricothyroid membrane. That's where we do the emergent cut open the neck and shove a tube in. Come on, come on. These two aren't training for an get upcoming it. sporting get event it. or a bodybuilding contest. It sure said a beer I, in my hand. Really, I feel like this is when you're spotting me at the house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've got their eyes on a different prize. Yeah. Their frat house's yeah. annual yeah. fart competition. I can honestly say my entire life I have never had a fart competition. Uh, I've had many. Should he be closing his eyes? He could, because he's got a spotter. Tighten your sphincter, boy! So it's fainter. We have actually a couple of them, not just in her butthole. We actually have them higher up, like lower esophageal sphincter. Nobody knew more about flatulence than the gas master. Oh Inner my sir. gosh, that's a lot of broccoli. That's a lot of, is that broccoli or roughage? Oh. We got baked Max beans. was famous for his unorthodox training technique. There's a lot of fiber. Fiber? I know, but like you just eat it. Yeah, you, you know. You don't just like bathe in yeah, it. Yeah, you don't bathe in it because you just wasted a lot of food. There were sphincter control exercises like the doggy rug burn. Actually, it's not that abnormal. Every time he lifts and he moves, he's using his pelvic floor muscles to contract. It's almost like Kegels. Yeah, I've seen dogs do this. Yeah, well, it's because they're scratching their <laughs> anal glands. The compactor! Compactor! What the heck is the compactor? Oh my gosh, it's gonna crush beer cans with his breast. <laughs> <laughs> People come to the emergency department all the time. Lost something in their rectum. People are flabbergasted when I mention light bulbs. See where this kid has a light bulb up his butt or his colon has a great idea? I know, because I mean, bulbs. glass. Glass, they get up there. Crush it! It's gonna lacerate his butthole. Oh. Oh gosh, what's happening? Oh, he's gonna light his fart on fire. You do have the ability to light a fart on fire, but you gotta be really careful because you're gonna burn your butthole. I'm just gonna say it because people don't like talking about it. buttholes can be hairy, so then you're gonna light that hair on fire. Don't do this, please. <laughs> Can you have that much of a flame? Like literally a flamethrower came out of his and then who forgot about stop, drop, and roll? His whole entire body have caught on fire. Like, what did he do? Roll around in gasoline? Oh my God, my fart killed you. Bro, doesn't even call 911. He's just like, I killed you. Put call 911. Yeah, pat him down. You got time. This show's crazy. It makes me laugh. I can see that these are like potentially like real ways people die, but maybe a little embellishment. If you guys really enjoyed this episode, definitely binge watch the rest of the series right here. And if you want to see more videos like this one, definitely subscribe, hit those bell notifications, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends. Bye.